Okay. Uh, have a late night repair. Uh, it's an A1707, and it's uh, it's a no power. A1707, no power. So, first thing first, we want to check out the back cover to get an understanding of what we're dealing with. Um, usually with, with, with Apple devices, um, other than those issues that are very obvious, like a, a broken screen, a keyboard replacement, a battery replacement, and also other than there are some known issues where you, you can clearly tell, okay, this is what this is. Every job has to be treated you know, like uh, um, everything has to be, uh, every job has to be treated uh, without any pre, any type of um, predefined assessment. See how you basically, uh, you know, first of all, establish exactly what is the state of the device. And then you take it off from there. So um, this has had uh, some work done by the backlight secretary. Um, that's the backlight Apple secretary. However, it's a no power, so that really is not relevant to us at the moment. Um, I'm very sure that was um, a previous work that was done on the machine. So what we want to do is we want to disconnect our battery and uh, we want to see if we have PPTC in. We want to see if we have 12 volt or, uh, sorry, I uh, want to see if we have 20 volt or 5 volt. Okay. Let's check by, okay. Let's open up the board view. It is zero two three two eight two. It is zero two zero zero two eight one. Yeah. Uh, yes, two eight one. So this is this is the board view. Um, yeah, the board view for twenty sixteen and twenty seventeen is pretty much the same. The difference is uh, very minute in terms of uh, in terms of design. But you can you can definitely use a, a 2016 um, board view for 2017, and you're totally fine. Okay, let's see if we have PPTC in. Um, check for our PPTC in on the input fuse here. This F301. Let's see what we have. And we have 20 volt. Okay, that's good. Now let's see what do we have on our PP bus. So we can measure our PP bus voltage as the dual fuse is here. Uh, this one, yeah. F seven hundred and one and F seven F seven thousand and F seven thousand and one. Okay, and then we have zero volt on our PP bus. Let's just confirm again that indeed we have 20 volt, and okay, that's 20 volt on our PPTC in, and zero volt on our PP bus. So the next thing we want to do is we want to disconnect the charger, and then see if we have a short on our PP bus. Switch our multimeter to continuity mode. <clears throat> we can either use continuity mode or we can use diode mode. Uh, so let's, okay, let's use diode mode. Now we want to have our, our red probe to ground and then our black probe on our fuse, which is the PP bus line. See if we have any issue. Okay, yes, we have a short. That's 0.00. 0 .00, that is definitely a short. So 
So the next thing we want to do is we want to take out our board and then find out what is shorted on the board. Hopefully it's not CPU related. Uh, yeah, and then once that is addressed, we should have a fully working machine. So, um, so like I said, each time you, each time you, uh, each time you're working on these devices, you have to kind of empty your mind, understand that each job is going to be a new job, and uh, you pretty, pretty much work like that. Each job that comes your way will be treated like a new job, and uh, you. You, you you also learn new things along the way, you know. The, the more of or the more of the repairs that you do, the more you, you get to uh, learn more. The more you get to understand the circuitry more, and uh, the more um, you you are able to troubleshoot your devices faster. Because it's it's important that you take um, the right approach in your troubleshooting. It makes uh, the process very, very quick. Uh, and your success rate, it's also better that way when you when you are very much acquainted with what to do and how to do. So we are taking out uh, the screws. Afterwards, we will take out the magic board. We need to find out where our short is. So um, the the device has definitely been somewhere. So, but, but I'm not sure if if this um, the way I'm able to tell two things are the mismatch of of, of, of screws and um, also um, the area that was left unattended uh, in a way because uh, they took out um, a cap on. The backlight output, and um, the, the the area was not cleaned, and one of the cap was not replaced. I suppose I suppose there was a short on the backlight output, and uh, they they just removed the, the cap that was shorted, and they left it, uh, which is not a which is which is that's not a negative. Uh, I mean, you can totally do that, and you're still fine. I'm just saying that is how I knew that the device has been worked on. Um, okay, the board is out. The next thing we want to do is uh, let's let's check out our board and find out exactly uh, what we're dealing with. So this is a 2016 board. Um, usually the 2017 you will find uh, there'll be a cap here. Uh, this is the 2016 board. Uh, Many of the caps are also were taken out. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure if this was also an attempt to fix the, the short or not if it was. But uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's check out what we have it. Let's uh, take a visual inspection of the board. Uh, we want to see if anything stands out. Okay, uh, this doesn't look good. See, all of the caps here also were taken out. Mm. So, see, all of this were taken out, all of that were taken out. I suppose this was in that they, they were troubleshooting the divorce short, I suppose, and uh, all of the caps taken out and it was not returned. I'm not sure what's happening here.
Okay, let's switch to our continuity mode. Another thing is that one of the ways I tell that my shot is contained in a particular rail is when I measure and I get that much low uh, reading. That tells me that my shot is pretty much contained in our PP bus. So, let's see. Ah. Ah. Usually, um, pre attempted machines. Uh, sometimes a nightmare. Uh, sometimes, not all the time. Okay. Um, U seventy eight hundred also seem to be having issue because I see most of the companies around it are beeping. Okay. Uh, let's connect. Our charger is uh, let's see if something is getting warm. Okay, nothing is getting warm. Um, so we can uh, we can um, inject voltage onto the line, but before we do that, to uh, to be safe, we need to remove a current sensing resistor, which is R fifty four hundred, because we do not want power going to our um, our CPU. So we will remove R fifty four hundred before we inject voltage onto the PP bus slide. So the idea of injecting voltage, like I said in my previous video, is the component that is uh, or the, the, the affected uh, section of the board will will become pretty warm and sometimes very, very hot. So that is uh, the component that is passing uh, the voltage to ground. So now what we want to do is we want to remove our, uh, our fuse, both fuses, and then attach our wire to one side of the fuse and then one wire to ground. And then another thing also is when you remove R5400, you can also tell if your issue is contained, if your PP, if your short is contained on the other side of the CPU uh, caps or the side of the PP. So let's just quickly check that. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's,
also we have uh, R5990 we both in the square choice in the square CPU GPU uh, oh uh, underscore GPU yeah, and the GPU line uh, okay okay so the last thing we want to do is uh, let's just confirm Okay, it's on the side of our thing too. Okay, let's uh, attach our wire. Uh, we're busy with this yesterday. Um, the fact that the job has been previously attempted, uh, it's really not encouraging, but um, yeah, let's still go over it until, until we can confirm that it's going to be a waste of time. So what we did, uh, we sold the, our main power line to the pin two of our fuses, which are already taken out, and then the other, the, the other, the other wire we sold out to ground. So this is it. I'm just gonna show you guys. So like that's one wire to pin two of the fuses, and then the other wire goes to ground. So what we now want to do is we want to grab the inject a voltage onto our line and then see what gets hot
Why I fell off? Uh, just trying to put it back. Okay. Let's try again. Nothing yet is getting warm. Nothing. So
Okay. Nothing really. We, we didn't really get anything that was considerably hard. So what I want to do is uh, So because um, we also found short, um, we also found uh, short by by U seventy eight hundred. Uh, let's see if can okay, we just confirm that this that's the case. Let's remove U7800 first. Oh wow. It actually looks like this was just slammed in place. Uh, so that it looks like it's just slammed in place. Okay. Uh, maybe that is the reason for short. Check again. We have shorts. We have shorts there at the year seven eight hundred outputs. Let's see. Okay, PP bus is still shorted. Uh, mm, let's see. PP boss is still shorted. Yeah, so this is going to be a waste of time. Yeah, I guarantee you this is going to be a waste of time. Um, yeah, this is going to be a waste of time. So we, especially the fact that it was already um, attempted, so mm, it's going to be a really waste of time. So what we want to do is we do not want to waste time with this. We'll put back the components that we took off and we call it uh, quit. I mean, if, if this has had not gone to um, a repair show, and uh, yeah, you know, we say, okay, let's give it a shot, but the fact that it's gone to a repair show and, uh, and all of the amount of components that we're taking off of it. And not put back. Um, that that is not um, that is not a genuine excuse, though. But um, I, I just feel like uh, it might not. I just feel like it might just be, it might just be like a. Like a roller coaster type of repair where it 
x in the rabbit hole and uh, spend so much hours and you never get to have a result. Okay, so that would be the end of the repair. We will uh, inform the client about. So this is this is actually coming from another repair shop. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just going to update the ticket. And that will be it. Uh, and also, uh, we need to wipe the way we walked. We don't want to leave it messy. Okay, pretty much, uh, there we go, that will be it guys, uh, I'll see you in the next video, thank you.